Radix Traffic are the largest manufacturer in the United Kingdom of rotating cone tactile equipment, which are used to assist visually impaired pedestrians cross the road safely at traffic signal controlled crossings. Radix Traffic's dedication to manufacturing high quality and extremely reliable products, combined with an equally high focus on customer service, has established them as the market leader for over 25 years. With this long history of strong engineering and innovative product development, Radix Traffic are building on this success with the introduction to the marketplace of the RTM Below Ground Magnetometer Vehicle Detection System. The Radix Vehicle Detection System is an extremely cost-effective alternative to inductive loops and other detection technologies and signals vehicle detection events to the local traffic controller by monitoring changes in the Earth's magnetic field caused by passing vehicles. The system is made up of two component parts, the RTM300 magnetometer sensor and the RTM500 interface card. The RTM300 sensor comprises a three-axis magnetometer and electronics which are fully self-contained and waterproof inside an encapsulated enclosure. There are no batteries required and the sensor is therefore maintenance free for the duration of its 15 year design lifetime. The RTM500 interface card is a standard Euro card which slots into a normal or intelligent detector backplane found inside traffic controllers. The card can be powered by either a 24 volt AC or DC supply through the backplane connections. Up to four sensors can be connected to a single interface card via new or legacy loop feeder cable. Installation of the Radix vehicle detection system is extremely quick and simple, utilizing cross carriageway or footway ducts with no need for road closures or traffic management. Using a measuring wheel, the distance from the duct chamber to the required position of the sensor in the carriageway is measured. The sensor is then laid out along the ground and a marker taped on the cable. A draw cord is attached to the sensor to avoid any unnecessary strain on the sensor cable if the sensor needs to be adjusted or removed at a later date. Using small diameter push rods or other flexible guide, the sensor is pushed along the duct to the desired position by maintaining a constant positive force and carefully feeding in the sensor, cable and draw cord. The push rods are then withdrawn and the sensor cable and draw line secured to the end of the duct or to another fixed point within the duct chamber to prevent any accidental movement of the sensor inside the duct. For a carriageway with several lanes, the required number of sensors can all be installed inside the same duct by pushing out the first sensor to the furthest lane, followed by adjacent lanes. Once the sensor has been secured, the detector cable and longitudinal feeder cable is terminated inside the reusable bottle joint. The RTM500 interface card is now installed into a spare detector backplane inside the traffic controller and the 24 volt supply and feeder cable inputs are connected. For standard backplanes, the respective sensor outputs are then connected to the designated controller input terminations. For controllers with intelligent backplanes, the inputs and outputs are assigned to the designated terminal block positions within the controller and are not connected directly to the rear of the interface card. To commission the detector system, firstly set the presence time switches P1 and P2 to the off position for all unused channels. Switch on the 24 volt supply and note the yellow and red LEDs on the front panel of the interface card will cascade down in sequence twice. Any sensors connected to any of the four channels will then give a double pulse on the red LED to confirm that they are connected. The yellow fault LEDs should be fully lit for normal operation. Fast flashing indicates a short circuit on the respective sensor channel, while slow flashing indicates an open circuit. The red detect LEDs are checked for correct operation by witnessing a number of vehicles passing over each active sensor. If some vehicles are not being reliably detected, or if the sensor appears to be detecting vehicles in adjacent lanes, sensitivity is adjusted up or down respectively 
using switches S1 and S2 for each channel. Once a new sensitivity has been selected, a full reset must be performed by pushing and holding in the card reset button for greater than three seconds. Both sets of LEDs will again cascade down twice, and a short blink on the red detect LED will be seen on the adjusted channel only to confirm the change. If the sensor is still detecting vehicles in adjacent lanes after reducing sensitivity, further adjustments can be made by altering the position of the sensor inside the duct. The default presence time on power up is set to four minutes. The time is adjusted by using the front panel switches P1 and P2 and by again performing a full reset. More detailed information about the Radix vehicle detection system, including a data sheet, installation handbook and case studies can be found on the Radix Traffic website at www.radixtraffic.co.uk.